we've got the one. 187,000 jobs number that is just broken, 180,000 jobs added during the month of August or uh, the month, yeah, the month of August here. And we're taking a look at the futures reaction as you've seen there on your screen. But as of right now, kind of holding steady, moving a little bit higher here. But that tops expectations. We're seeing that come in at 187 versus the 170,000 jobs that were expected. And then additionally here, looking for the unemployment rate, looks like that actually ticked up to about 3.8%. The expectation was for that to remain about three and a half percent there uh, and then just looking through some of the average hourly earnings year over year that ticks lower to 4.3 percent there so some easing in the form of the wages and then additionally um, and a higher unemployment rate and then additionally a higher um, or better than expected reading on the overall number of jobs added. So there you're taking a kind of overall look and we'll dive into some of the specifics within this report as well, Rochelle, but particularly as we're looking at the stock reaction, the futures still actually edging higher here. And interesting to also note here within this, uh, within this report, employment continued to trend up in healthcare, leisure and hospitality, social assistance and construction, uh, while the declines were really in transportation and warehousing there. So uh, those some of the early reads that we've got as of right now, Rochelle. And certainly, as we were just mentioning there, watching for that unemployment rate to tick up, as we're seeing there now at 3.8%. Now, this should be welcome news for the Fed because that's really been a very stubborn number that hasn't been been rising in, cor in correlation with some of the job openings that we've been seeing. So some welcome news there. So no surprise that we're seeing futures on the rise there, giving the Fed a little bit less work to do. But this is a very data-dependent Fed. They say one month does not a decision make. Still mostly expecting a pause at the September meeting. So this does take a little bit of pressure off there. And I'm sure perhaps we'll be waiting to hear some kind of word from the Fed at some point to try and take some of the heat off, take, try and take calm some of this enthusiasm. As they said, there's a lot of information that's going to come out between now and November. So I'm sure they don't want the markets getting too ahead of themselves, but at least for now, making things a little bit easier for the Fed, Brett. Yeah, I'm doing some quick control F's or command F's for all my uh, Apple users out there. Uh, labor force participation rate rose by about two tenths of a percentage point during the month. That came in to 62.8 percent. Uh, and then the employment population ratio, that was largely unchanged. What's important about that labor force participation rate, uh, that was roughly flat, basically flat since the month of March there. So a slight tick higher there.